participants. And we have like over 50 unique entrants, like, or, or over 50 entries in doubles across both events. Yeah. That's, that's pretty good participation. And as a lover of doubles, it's something that I'm fairly proud of. Same here, same here. That's, uh, you know, that's, that's why I try to get those overclock consoles out to everybody. I want to see more people participate in doubles. It's just so much fun to watch. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to play, and it's a lot of fun to commentate. So I'm, I'm very happy to be here. Looks like we got the Brody Bunch coming up. Playing uh, old adversaries come together again, Mario and Donkey Kong, versus the team that knocked my team out of ZPK Let's Go and G-Man. So I, I will admit up front, I have I, I am biased in favor of Let's Go and G-Man. They beat me, so I want them to go as far as possible. Oh, I'm afraid I'm biased the other way to the Brody Bros. Baltimore uh, represent. Perfect. In, in, in that case, we balance each other out. <laughs> All right, and again, we have two Mario Bros on the screen. This is like the most representation from from Mario characters that that you that you can get, unless you have Hydra and uh, Hydra and Kimi Mario in the bracket. Okay, I've got to say I've been waiting to see Dark Horse's Donkey Kong in doubles all day, and this is the first time I think he's brought it out. Nice. I think we're gonna see some some uh, really fun stuff here. I would expect so. All right, back on Dreamland. <laughs> Donkey Kong already charging his, his Donkey Punch. Yeah, well, Samus already charging her charge shot. We have, we have two fully charged neutral Bs on deck. <laughs> Up B to escape. Yeah, one, one thing that I have noticed from the few games that I've watched today is that G-Man and Let's Go like to play near the leg. So it might look like they're sort of getting like boxed out, but I think that they're actually fairly comfortable there. And that would make some sense with uh, with one teammate playing a uh, uh, good spiker and the other one playing a uh, uh, good support character. It makes some sense that they might be comfortable. Right, especially because Luigi's survivability is so high, he can afford to just be off stage for a while if Samus sure. needs to hold ledge. So things are looking pretty good for Green Team right now. They are at high percent, so if Red Team wants to turn it around, they better do it before they take too much more damage. Nice. Grab loop, oh, and oh, there oh, we oh, go, oh. right like that. That's how you stay in it. Yeah, but I, I don't know if Red Team likes to play with only one of their teammates, by the way. That does seem like a dangerous situation. Yeah, it does. And there you were talking about uh, wanting to see Dark Horse's Donkey Kong. It looks like he is he is controlling a lot of space with that DK. Oh yeah, Red Team is having a really difficult time pinning him down because he can just escape with his up B just about any time he wants. Yeah, and uh, it, between the up B and the grab. Okay, good, she man dies fast after that neutral air. Wow, Mario up smash beats Samus down air. I don't know if I would have guessed. Man, manages not to die through, uh, through that 2v1. Once again, though, red team at stock disadvantage. DK's weight saving him from that combo. There we go. Shiman's able to go up and get that. Let's go running interference with DK. There it is. And again, they even it up. Up B will yeah. not beat Samus' forward smash. Wow, that was a very delicate high wire act getting uh, Let's Go back to the stage there. Once again, Let's Go has to get over to help Shiman out a bit. He's still in it. I've noticed that uh, the Dark Horse, Dark Horse's Dark Kong, isn't really helping out his teammate at all, really. It's as if he said, eh, Brody can handle himself. Uh, well, frankly, I think that that's not a terribly bad strategy to go for, because what he's doing there is, is he's running interference. He's, he's, letting, uh, he's letting Josh do his thing. Uh, that's true, that's true. So like if if your opponent is, is fine on his side of the stage, then like it's your responsibility to make sure that that doesn't get interrupted. That makes sense. So that like makes sense. especially if you have a good one v one matchup, then it makes I, I think that that's the right thing to do is is if if you can take both of your opponents to the edges of the stage and have that like two sided edge guard going on, then you're still doing it right because like the other sure. team still has to get back. Yeah, if you know you yeah, if you know you've got a one v one, you can win. Take it. Right. And uh, that 
that may be especially true in ZPK, because like sometimes it's like you need both players to edge guard the Pikachu because it's hard to edge guard Pikachu with just one. Mm -mm. Or just let the Pikachu get back while concentrate on the other guy. Yeah. But in, in ZPK, I think that that's understandable a lot of the time, especially if you have two floaty characters. Because if you have one, one floaty character and one fast faller, then in my mind it makes sense to let the floaty character take all the live long day to get back. Like, if you can 2v1 the fast faller who's going to need to get back uh, back to stage sooner, and sometimes you'll still have enough leeway to go over and edge guard the floaty. Sure. But, like, when your opponents are Samus and Luigi, you can afford to just keep them coming back all day long. You're, you still have the, the advantageous position. Rack up the damage. If you keep, keep them off stage, them they'll up. die eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even Luigi. Uh, yeah, and it seems that after having gone down a couple games, Red Team's doing some soul searching, but they're sticking to their guns. It's bad at We'll see if Battlefield's weird ledges play into this game significantly. <laughs> Dirkler's still insistent on charging his donkey punch at the beginning of the match. Uh, well, if they let you do it, go for it. I guess so, but but he's just he's ignoring his teammate. No support at all. Well, Which, I mean, hey, that, if it works, that's fine. Like Bark was able to uh, to keep a let's go from charging his charge shot. Hold on, maybe we're thinking about this wrong. Oh? Maybe the donkey punch is their strategy, and it's Brody who's running interference. You know. Maybe. Maybe we'll see that. Maybe maybe that's what we'll see in this game three. Green team not quite as strong as this game two. This is game three, isn't it? I believe so, yeah. Okay, good. Just making sure I didn't miss one. Or I, that, that I didn't defend one. Yeah, and Dark Horse is the one who usually is uh, updating yeah. uh, the score here. Yeah, our stream operator is temporarily absent. And you know, I feel like we've seen Red Team this game uh, focusing a little more on uh, on Dark Horse. And they've been keeping him from uh, controlling the space so dominantly. There's Shiman doing, uh, doing the ladder, basically. Yeah, red team in a much better position this game, I feel. I, th I think that they've been able to uh, control space a lot more effectively. Or they, they were for a minute. They're in a bit of a tight spot right now. Down only one stock instead of two, though. Ooh, that's five push-ups. And I think that was actually DI on the fireball. And there we go! That was a big up B from G Man. That was nice. That was nice. And the charge <laughs> shot. The, if, if the super punch was the strategy for Green Team, Red Team flipped the script on him. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Two projectiles at once. And there you we go. Oh, uh, this is going to be really tough for Dark. Yeah, uh, yeah. that's, oh, that's it. That's All right, it looks like that, that counter pick really worked out for him. But I, I also think that that was good adaptation. Red Team figured out that they needed to... Uh... Oh, and we have stock counts? We have scores? We do. We I've do. been wanting that feature forever. That's the new wrong. Especially in teams. Because it's always fun. Like, you know, you have, like, a, a, your, 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 the opposing team has six stocks. And, like, your team combined has, like, seven or eight kills. <laughs> Yeah, you you gotta have uh, you gotta have evidence that you carried the team plus. <laughs> but the other thing is like because I like to play support characters in teams, I like to see it when like my partner has five KOs and yeah. I have one because that means I'm doing my job. Oh yeah, uh, you know uh, I think if you're playing doubles, that's how it should be. At the end of the game, one of the players should have most of the kills, if not all of them. In my mind, that tends to be the stronger strategy, but if you want to play Double Captain Falcon, then like as long as you're each able to ha get your one-on-ones, it can work. I suppose that's true. I've never seen a Double Captain Falcon no. team, uh, and I've never... Yeah, I, I do believe I've seen it once or twice in Chicago, like combo plays in Night Fox. They, they, they like to have fun. They like to play Falcon. Looks like uh, the Brody Bunch is going for the color counter pitch. They, they switched to blue team. And we're seeing the run back actually, taking it back to um, 
came back to Battlefield. Now, why do you think they're choosing Battlefield over uh, over Dreamland? Uh, maybe because it's harder for Luigi to get to the stage. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. Maybe it's something about the platform. I, oh, and he gets the DI. Oh no! Donkey see, Kong yeah, that, in that trouble. Was, that was one situation, frankly, where it seems to me like Let's Go probably could have uh, been a better teammate by going over to help G Man get back on, than by continuing to try to combo uh, Josh. Charge shot. Oh, and it lands. And there we go. No butt spike, but Sam is coming through. The red team looking like they have sort of figured figured their opponents out. They've been doing a, a pretty good job of, uh, of not allowing Dark Horse to control space like he was the first couple games. They've been keeping him off stage. They've been uh, running a lot of 2v1s, I feel. They've done a good job of push your opponent away and then just go for the 2v1. Uh, yeah, this is a bit of a dangerous position for Let's Go, however. But they're they're back. They're back together. Oh, oh there we go. Double edge guard situation. Yeah, what do you got for us, Dark Horse? And he's he. What are you doing? He who catches two hairs, or he who chases two hairs, catches neither. Dark Horse giving so. giving us a great illustration of the old of the old phrase, phrase saying, the old phrase. I think uh, I think at very least he probably could have gone for the trade. Oh, maybe and not. He's uh, he's so high up. It, 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 wow, red team with oh, four the, stocks oh. at the end. That's strong. That's pretty convincing. I think I think that yeah, you, you look at that score count. Wow. Yeah. That yeah. is uh, that is an impressive adaptation from red team. That yeah, is a complete that's... reversal. I wonder what the Brodies are going to do. They're, they're definitely talking about it. Yeah, they, they tried changing their color. Maybe they need a more radical change. <laughs> yeah, but we, we can see that Freen and Shiman are also uh, are also thinking things over. Shiman, let's go. Oh, sorry, yes. It looks like they're, they're considering breaking the rules and picking Pikachu. That's a bold move. I think that results in a loss. Uh, I would imagine so. That would be an instant disqualification. Very bold. Shiman to the <laughs> Speak of the devil. All oh, right. Oh, final destination. Okay. Oh, Captain Falcons. They are looking for a quick win. Yeah, and you see right there just run up, up smash. They are betting it all on double Captain Falcon because yeah, a they, glass cannon in truth. If he doesn't kill his opponents right out, they're going to kill him. And, you know, I bet that that's where the Yoshi counterfeit came from. Because, uh, just because they wanted the super armor. Oh, wow, that sweet spot from Let's Go is amazing. Or, sorry, that, that, that must have been She-Man. She-Man the Yoshi. Yeah, and She-Man's Yoshi... Back when I was in NorCal, Shiman didn't like I didn't know him to really have any sort of Yoshi. So that's a bit of a surprise pick. Yeah, Shiman in fact known for his Luigi, especially in teens. Oh. Yeah, and I it's not looking like it's working out for them. Alright, wow. finally red team on the board. Yeah, but they're just struggling to figure out what to do. Like this the game like Blue team really pulled the rug out from under him on this one. All right, finally a second KO oh. for red team. Oh, but G-Man just uh, holding his own there against both Captain Falcon. One yeah, he was, he was able to rack up some damage, but he wasn't able to finish his meal. Oh, that's going to be the end of G-Man's Yoshi. Uh, oh! The super armor came Maybe through! Not. Oh! Uh, yeah, he's still in trouble, though. Yeah, Let's Go can't get over to help him. I think that's it. Incredible. I've, I've never known Josh's Captain Falcon to be particularly strong, uh, he, but he is a really smart player, and he knows all the cast pretty well. Yeah, you, you play for that long, and, and you shop around enough, and you start to figure it out. That was... Uh, were, were we off by one? Was, wasn't that it? 
Did we did we invent a game? <laughs> we might have. Oh, oh, we might have. It might be it might be only one on. on uh, okay. It might be only one on Dark Horse Judge Burger. Yeah. So. Okay. Gents, will this be game five? This is game five? This is game five? Okay, okay, okay. All right, my mistake. This is game five. Uh, we totally imagined a game here. Our apologies for that mix up. We had one game on Dreamland, then went directly to Battlefield, then we went back to Battlefield. Then we had a game on Final Destination. And the score is now 2-2. Two, two. Yes, so your the, the game counter is now finally correct. <laughs> but now this is this will be really cool. Yes, yeah, so that does uh, we'll mean see. that red team has one last chance to adapt. What do you think they're going to do? Well, we see Let's Go hovering over Mario. They've got to find some good answer to Captain Falcon. Fox is a decent choice. I think he does really well against Captain Falcon. Those lasers just shut down so many of his options. Yeah. It's in teams, though, Fox can't do it alone. Fox is, it's a, true. Fox is very much a support character in teams. Yeah. He's got to have somebody. He's got to have somebody with him. Well, yeah. I, well, I think he needs to be there to back someone up because Fox has trouble making things happen. Well, like, he can run front. He can run front if he is strong and comfortable. Uh, if he's if he's comfortable with with that sort of aggression. Right. I don't know if Yoshi is going to be a good support to that. So we're probably going to see, like you mentioned, a, a more defensive support front. So. Yeah, I would. Yeah, in this situation, I would hope to see Yoshi going in harder than Fox does. Especially because, yeah, I I, I would want to see a lot of uh, setups for forwarders off stage with Yoshi. Up and the grab chain. Anytime yeah. somebody gets grabbed and doubles, it immediately, it, it should uh, result in two more grabs. Uh, that's that's one outcome. You can do other things as well. Oh, dang. Red team. It should result oh, right. in somebody yeah. taking advantage of the grab, I should say. Yes, absolutely. And that should be it. On edge guardable. Wow. Red team doing pretty decently out of the gate. Nah, uh, but there's this, the stocks are evened up. That's uh, shades of game one. That's more or less how uh, game one started, just with uh, the show on the other foot. Red team unable to take advantage of their vulnerability. All right, now that that was that was great interference from the Yoshi to to clear the way for She Man to land, or sorry, let's go to land. Yes, She Man is Yoshi. Yes, in P4. Oh, Fox missing his edge guard. You gotta really be patient to take him right. Man, she Man picking his space very well there. And there you see he had the double edge guard. Oh. And as soon as he confirms the kill, he goes over to control more space. This is looking pretty good for Red Team right here. Uh, if they're able to come back. Right, just, just barely able to outspace the Falcon Punch. Blue team managed to get one kill with their invulnerability. They couldn't close it out on Yoshi. Oh, oh good there, there we go. Oh, that was sneaky. Fall down, jump back in. Red team at an advantage. Oh, red team is they're looking able... super strong in neutral. Yeah, they're... Yeah, let's go. It has to do something. Lost one Captain Falcon. All right, she man. Down. Yeah, don't don't do anything ridiculous. Okay, that that was good play. They bobbled it, but that, those were the right options. And that should be oh, that's it. The end. All right, let's go into she man advance. She man holding it down for NorCal. Incredible! What a great adaptation by she man and let's go. Two times. Very impressive. Yeah. It, it took them a few games to figure out how to deal with Dark Horse's DK, but they were they were able.